Let us in the silence of our hearts turn to our God and let us thank God for the love and grace which is greater than any sin or weakness. And we ask God to help us to acknowledge the times in our own lives when we have blamed others for our failure to act in a right and loving way. We ask the Holy Spirit of God to bring to mind those situations in our lives which need healing, forgiveness, reconciliation. We pray for our families, our places of work, for our friends. We pray for all the people around the world whose voices are silent to us, all the imprisoned, the immigrants. We pray for people who are suffering with addictions, the young who have not yet found their purpose in life and are looking for big soul challenges to give over their life to. We pray for those who don't know love in their families. We pray for women in the sex trade, young girls traffic, all the suffering world who suffer and are waiting for our touch, our healing touch. And we pray for our parish communities that we may be embodiments of the body of Christ in our world. That the annunciations will not be lost on us, that the incarnations will be real. We pray for all of those who are torn by war, all the young Richards in Iraq and Afghanistan and the other countries that are caught up in the violence. We pray for ourselves. We pray to God the struggles and misunderstandings we encounter. We ask the Holy Spirit to help us to discern where we need to move, where we're being called to go further. We invite our God through Jesus' sweet, good, strong face and hands into the brokenness of our lives to heal us. Lord Jesus, we ask you to fill us again, to fill us afresh with your spirit so that we may follow you with courage and build your kingdom of love and truth in our lives that we may respond with yes to the grace as it comes to us. Amen.